Hey YouTube viewers, Rob here. This is take three of this video. Sorry about the abrupt ending of part one of my Georgia trip. Um, after I built the whole video, YouTube told me that uh, I could only do a certain amount of uh, downloads per video and I had exceeded that so I had to delete a bunch of sections that are now going to be on the next part. So sorry about that but uh, we'll use this for the intro for part two. Uh, part two starts off in Atlanta and follows through to uh, we get up to the cabin in the mountains in Georgia. Alrighty. Alrighty guys, it's taking four long hours of driving, but there's Atlanta. Alrighty guys, that's a shot of Turner Field, home of the Atlanta Braves. Alrighty. Okay guys, I'm just driving around downtown inner city Atlanta. Uh, somebody should have been parked there because they got booted. Not one wheel, two wheels. And Look at that. How freaking cool is that, guys? Building art here. All righty. All righty, guys. I winged it driving through the city because I didn't have internet on my iPad. I was looking for McDonald's to get internet. But I literally must have crossed over the tracks and went into a really nice section of town um, with all these old houses here. And I was looking for an historic park. And the sign over there says this is one of these city's first little parks right here. So I'm going to go do this little park right here. All right. Okay, gang, I just ground balanced my machine. Apparently this is really uh, mineralized soil or a lot of rocks here. I'm getting a lot of bouncy signals, but I did get a decent signal to dig, a 3630. It was bouncing all over and I dug it. Here's my first coin in Atlanta, guys. And I'm not even sure what it is yet, but let me look at it. Okay, guys, that was a memorial penny right here. I think it was 2000, if I can see it right. And I got the same kind of exact bouncy signal here, less than an inch down. And here's another Another copper penny. Alrighty. This ground in Atlanta is pretty dry. I want to break a clod. And it doesn't get much more in the middle than that there, right there, guys, right in the middle. Alrighty. Also, they have a lot of rules in Atlanta parks, apparently. Um, and I'm not breaking any of them. Outstanding. My machine reset, but I got a real uh, bouncy 42 44 reading here. And uh, it said it was in the side. I dug it out. And here we go, guys. I'm going to say that's a modern since it's not shiny. I was hoping, but no. Alrighty. Alrighty, guys. The metal detecting gods are conspiring against me again. Look at that. Can you read it? 1965, guys. Can you freaking believe that again? Alright. Well, guys, here's the best signal I had in a long time. 3638 said it was way down. Thought maybe it'd be an old coin. I've gotten numerous old-style pull tabs that have been way down, giving me weird readings I've never had before. Of course, I'm not used to it. Georgia soil. So, here we go. Pulled this out of here. And it's just a memorial penny. Not even a weedy. I'll look at the date later. Alrighty. At least we're finding something again. And guys, here's one of the first solid signals I've had since I've been here. Alright. There it is, guys. Pinpointer said it was in the side of the clod, and there it is. It's not shiny, and I think I hit it with a shovel, but it's another quarter. At least it's a coin, guys. I've been getting so much trash. That's the only good thing about this park. Well, it's old, but it's also in the shade, and it's also evening, so I'm at least not dying. I mean, I'm sweating my ass off, but at least I'm not dying. All right, guys. It said it was really down deep, but it was only down about an inch or two. Another clad dime. I was getting a signal between a bounce between a dime and a quarter. So I'll sweep this before I cover it up, see if uh, there's anything else in here. All right. All right, guys, I'm sure you can hear the cicadas in the tree. That means it's getting dark. Wow, they're getting loud. All right, guys, I'm not going to be here too much longer between the mosquitoes and getting it dark. i still got an hour and a half drive, and I'm gonna, I didn't want to do that drive on the mountain at night, but I guess I'm going to have to. All right, I got a real bouncy 38, 42, 44 reading here. Generally, that means... It's been giving me a dime, not a quarter, but we'll check. It says it's under this tree root. Stand by. Yep, guys, one dig with my digging shovel right there. Popped it out. Another modern dime. That's what I'm getting with a 30, bouncy 3842 rooting. Oh, wow, that cicadia just shut up. Wow. Okay. All right, guys, we're going to do this little area here, walk our way to the car, and head out of here. If you don't see anything more, that's uh, because we didn't find anything more. All right, guys, you can see the cars right down there, and you can see it's also getting dark. And I was going to shut the machine off and just walk, but nah, I said, ah, let's swing to the car. I finally got a signal that only bounced between two numbers, not six numbers. And there it is, another coin, guys. Of course, 
I'm going to not hold any breath that it's a weedy. Nope, it's a memorial. Oh well. Alright guys, that's it for the night. Alrighty guys, 13 and a half hours after I left Florida this morning, I am in the driveway of the cabin on the top of this mountain. That was just one of the scariest ass things I've ever done in my life, driving up a mountain in the dark with wet roads, fog setting in, and me being fairly unfamiliar since I've only been here twice. Um, yeah, I don't want to do that again. Alrighty. Well, gang, as you can see, it's uh, pouring down rain. It actually just slowed down a few minutes ago, but it's been monsooning all morning. The street's flooded. That'll go away about an hour or two after it stops raining, but street's flooded. Of course, the weatherman said we had a 50% chance of rain today with some scattered thunder showers. Yeah, it's monsooning. We're getting all the leftovers from Houston. Alrighty, guys. Yep, the pool's flooded too. Hey gang, that's the end of part two. I know it's pretty short, um, but uh, I wanted to end on my first night there and do this. part three. Will be my uh, my whole one full day there before I before I had to come home. Yeah, this is my assistant. Which one is this? Zeus. Zeus. I can't tell them apart. They're two twin brothers, Zeus and Titus. Um, okay, and we're gonna go ahead and do our. We should get that on tonight, and we'll go ahead and do an intro for part three. As soon as I'm done with this. Alrighty.